All right, welcome back to KM6 LYW Radio, the show about amateur radio or ham radio with an emphasis on digital or data modes, moving information back and forth using amateur radio. Hey, today's a great example. We're going to do some slow scan television, and the International Space Station is actually transmitting images right now uh, on behalf of the amateur radio on the International Space Station ARISS group. So uh, let's see if we can decode an image from space, this time on KM6LYW Radio. Yeah. <laughs> All right, welcome back. Yeah, that's the bumper music. I butchered that one. Yeah, you guys, you know, it's, it's become a name that tune thing. So that that was a little more obscure. In fact, I'm I'm running out of ideas. So let's. Uh, Let's get this straightened out. Let's make me a lot smaller here. The ISS, the space station, is coming. And hopefully I get the timing right here. So uh, go to isstracker.com, and we can see the space station is uh, leaving uh, North Korea and heading over the Aleutian Islands and into California, where uh, I am stationed here, um, as I am a six-lander. So as this flies by, we are going to tune to 145 decimal... Uh, eight and there's going to be a little Doppler shifting, um, so you might want to do a fine tune on that. It's not so much important on FM, and you know, it's going to capture the signal either way. But get a wide FM uh, signal coming down. This is the ICOM 705. It's plugged into a Diamond X200 on the roof, uh, so pretty good gain. Um, you really don't need directional antennas um, for this particular uh, space object because it's. I think they're up at five watts or so, and since it's line of sight, um, that's it. Might as well be next door. So, um, yeah, just a, a simple any radio will do. In fact, I'm kind of curious if I can get the venerable Baofeng to do a decode here as well. Um, so, as far as the decoding software goes for Raspberry Pi, you're going to want to look at QSS. TV, QSS TV. In fact, if you have the DigiPi software image, which goes to all the patrons of the channel, in fact, that's the uh, SD card image in this Raspberry Pi, the DigiPi SD card. Um, all of this is installed and pre-configured, and all you need is a web browser or a cell phone or both, some sort of Wi-Fi device, and you get access to all of these data modes, including slow scan television. And it's going to be transmitting, let's see, I actually, I read this earlier here. Um, it's going to be, it only it doesn't do this all the time. You know, it just does it for like a commemorative type of thing. It'll do it for a few days and it'll have a dozen pictures or, show, or so that they keep repeating. So today is October, what is today? October 28th. And it started yesterday on the 27th. And this is going to go through November 1st. And again, this is at ariss.org. And they're uh, telling us that the third radio, this is actually a Kenwood D710 that's up there. It's going to be transmitting these um, these slow scan pictures for the next couple of days. Um, and keep in mind, there's an APRS packet radio up there, on uh, which is offline. It says temporarily stowed. I don't know what's going on. It's been like 30 days since the APRS DigiPeter went off. And then there's a dual band radio, or a... Um, uh, <clears throat> cross band repeater, dual band, cross band repeater. Uh, I guess that is dual band. It's VHF and UHF, so you can talk concurrently uh, with other operators here on the Earth through the space station. But today we're going to be listening to that slow scan television radio that Kenwood D710 on 145.8. Uh, so you, I'm kind of killing time because I want to see the space station come over to California. When it does, we're going to see a signal. Uh, make sure you can do a little fine tuning of your uh, actual frequency um, because you want to maybe adjust, adjust for Doppler shift. So the frequency should be a little higher as it's approaching, and then it'll maybe a little uh, lower as it as it's going away because um, it does change the, the the frequency, the apparent frequency as it arrives here on Earth. Because um, the thing's moving at fifteen thousand miles an hour, it actually compresses radio waves. So what I'm going to do is probably put you guys on pause, and as soon as this thing starts to rise to my west, uh, we're going to see if there's a signal here, and we're going to see if we can decode it using the DigiPi uh, slow scan television client, which is this guy right here. Um, so on DigiPi, you come over here to slow scan, you click on, and you click on slow scan SSTV link down here, and it opens the SSTV decoder in your web browser. Um, so this is all you, all you need on DigiPi. Um, but if you've got a Raspberry Pi or a Linux box, just get a copy of QSTV, QSSTV. Um, additionally, what we're going to try is uh, there's something called Robot. What is this called? Robot 36. And this is a uh, Android app that will just decode uh, images. And what, what I'm going to try, I, this might go off the rails, is just to see if I can hold my Baofeng up to my robot 
36 decoder and you just acoustically couple them and see if I can decode an image using the Baofeng. I don't know. I don't know if it's ever been done before, um, mostly because, well, Baofeng isn't the best decoder, at least compared to the $1,000 ICOM 705. So we're going to see what the quality difference is. You know, maybe this is all you need. This is a $35 radio versus over 1000 for for that decoder over there. All right, uh, I'm going to wait for the ISS to rise, you guys, and I'm going to put this on pause. And as soon as we start getting a signal, I'm going to bring you right. All right, I just warped you through time a little bit. The space station is rising. And I see a little signal on the waterfall, but I don't quite hear it yet, and I can't really decode it. So I think we're close. I'm over here on the DigiPi. I've got slow scan television client running. I click on SSTV down here, and we see the slow scan decoder. Um, I might just bump up the frequency a little bit. Well, a lot bit. I hear it. And just kind of get that centered on there. See that's working? And maybe you can hear it. Uh, I think uh, it phased out. I don't know. You might have caught the end of the image. And we caught a little bit of image there. And you can see it actually on the scope here on QSS TV with, uh, with that signal it looks like that you're looking for. So that's the same signal we saw on the waterfall. So... Um, I bet you that was the end of an image. It says launch October 26, 1978. So these are all commemorative images, um, you know, of different events in space exploration and technology. And I think the Russian space program uh, is putting this on. So this is going to have the call sign of RS0ISS. Uh, the, the Russian folks are doing this. So yeah, I think we caught the end of an image. There's usually a pause of maybe 30 seconds. That's why I'm stalling here. I'm kind of waiting to see <laughs> this signal to pop up here again and we'll see a brand new image um, there's also some slant correction I, this, it looks like i've got a bad slant here in qss tv a lot of times you want to go over to calibrate and you know, see if you can recalibrate that um, i'll go into configuration sound and just make sure it's uh, with the calibration stuff that you had uh, set up there for you actually it just stopped didn't it? i wonder if we can do play again and yeah, stop for the calibration anyways we're waiting for that signal to come back it was just here and that was the end of an image. So the space station is it's approaching apex, so we're getting close. So if it flies directly over your vertical antenna, it's kind of a null spot. You know, the signal might fade out a little bit. It's actually better if you've got a big vertical antenna if the space station does kind of a glancing uh, uh, aspect uh, to your antenna. So it hits your antenna broadside. All right, let's see what we got here. Come on, this will be the one time they, they like stop transmitting for a while. So we still got no signal. <laughs> we got the tail end of one image though, so this this won't be a, a complete failure. We did get an image. Um, it should pick up here in just a second. All right, it just started again. Let's see if you guys can hear it. Yeah, it's really loud too. Can you, can you guys hear that? And when they say television, they don't mean like film, you know, they mean like one image at a time. Slow scan television is like one television frame, but it takes like 30 seconds to download one. And the quality is <laughs> well, like old school television. Yeah, I've still got some slant correction issues there, but hey, this is coming down. We can do slant correction later. Um, so we got RS0 ISS coming down. Um, I don't see the, I can't really read the thing in the upper right hand corner. Maybe you guys can tell me what this is. 3HEPF. M A? I don't know. I don't know what that means. But hey, the image is coming down and looks like the power company is allowing me to receive radio signals right now. So that's a, that's a plus. Um, a lot of that static you see there is, uh, well, power company noise. I, I am rolling down the frequency to get that center just a little bit over here on the ICOM. Um, it's not critical, but you know, at least try and get most of that FM signal. Um, you know, it's pretty wide actually. If you look at it on the scope, there, it's on 25k right now on that scope. So yeah, it's doing pretty good. So yeah, the signal looks good, and the Raspberry Pi is decoding it um, using QSS TV. Sounds like this when the power company isn't transmitting static over the top of it, and we've got guys in spacesuits. I mean, this is pretty cool. This is coming from outer space. Well, not not outer space. Maybe like the inner part of space, where this where the state base station is, and it's moving at about fifteen thousand miles per hour, I think. And then, uh, yeah, we're getting an image off of that. What I was thinking about, we could do is maybe um, get Robot Thirty Six to decode this. I'm gonna hit play. You gotta be quiet though. Here it comes. Yeah, 
See, this is just acoustically coupled. It's listening to the radio. And that was it. We got some of the image on the uh, the phone as well. We got the complete image on uh, on QSS TV on the DigiPie. Yeah, I still got some slant. I can do some more calibration there. So yeah, this some of this is written in Cyrillic. Um, so this is a throwback to 2006. So this is a cool image. We got it. We downloaded an image from space using nothing more than a uh, amateur radio. Uh, Raspberry Pi and uh, some cool software called QSS TV. What I might do is I don't know how long I, the satellites or the satellite the space station is going to be setting. I don't know if I can uh, get a Baofeng thing on here, but I'm, I'm going to plug this in and regardless, just to see if I can get the Baofeng to decode, get the Baofeng to decode something, and we'll use QSS TV with or I'm sorry, a Robot Thirty Six Android app with the Baofeng. So I'm going to turn this on. And I'm kind of hoping for the best here. And I'm going to flip that off the club repeater. And I'm going to go to 145.8. And it's kind of loud right now. What I might do is put you on pause. If I hear something, um, Robot 36 will decode it. I got that right there. So this is this is how you do it. This is this is the low tech way to decode images. So we got the Baofeng <laughs> plugged into the antenna. We got the Robot Thirty Six app on the phone, and we're gonna see if it decodes. It might be a long shot. I'm just looking at our timing, our uh, our orbital pass here. It might be a little sketchy. We might get the beginning of one because it takes about thirty seconds. There's almost like a full minute in between these. So I'll pause this and we'll see if we can decode it. Uh, I'm skeptical. Skeptical. All right, it just started up. Robot 36 is decoding what the Baofeng is putting out from the space station. It's working. Unbelievable, we're using a $30 radio to decode images from space. Oh, I got a bunch of noise on top of it. Yeah, but you can see the image though. I mean, it's pretty cool, right? That is a cheap radio, um, software-defined radio, and it's using a pretty nice antenna on the roof. Um, there's no way I'm going to get this to work inside of this room with all these lights, so use a, an external antenna if you can. But yeah, I'm getting a lot of fade. The space station's setting, and it's going behind trees. But check that out. That's pretty cool. Here comes a little more. Can you guys hear it? Oh, I turned it up. It's, it's loud in here. So there is a new image coming down. I think that's pretty cool. I'm going to pause it and see how far, how much more we can get. <laughs> yeah, okay. We got, we got some. We got some image here. Um, I just let it go. And, and, the, and it's setting. I'm over California here and the, the space station setting. So we did get this image. Um, you can kind of make it out. I don't know. It, it, it looks better, actually. Uh, this camera isn't doing it any justice. But anyways, that's the image. Um, it broke up a little bit. Maybe if I, I don't know, if I put it over here, does this look any better? I don't know. You guys tell me. I, I, I guess it's okay. I, I can, I can kind of decipher it. But it totally worked, right? So we've got the Baofeng, and we've got the like the, the little the little engine that could um, doing some cool, <laughs> cool stuff. Totally doing decodes. Let me make this, this a lot smaller. I thought it was pretty cool. I make this bigger. All right, guys, thank you for watching today. I really appreciate it. Um, this has been fantastic, actually. So none of this would be possible. We wouldn't be decoding anything if it wasn't for you guys. Patrons of the channel, I really appreciate it. Patreon.com slash KM6LYW. That's Steve, Mark, Andrew, Fu, Brian, Chris, Jake, Ryan, Jim, Malcolm, Paul, Buddy, Brown. Thank you, guys, Roberts. Uh, Kevin, Brad, Thomas, Eddie, Aaron. Aaron, thank you. Ham Radio Outlet represent. Uh, yeah, there's some, some brand placement there. A little. <laughs> thank you, Aaron, for contributing. I really appreciate it. Um, so, again, it wouldn't be, if it wasn't for you guys, this wouldn't be happening. Uh, patrons of the channel get access to this DigiPi SD card image, which is that uh, web based uh, thing that we just used that has QSS TV pre installed. Um, so, you can get uh, QS TV. QSS TV, no problem using the DigiPi. If you're not a hacker, that's okay. Just put this 
SD card image into your Raspberry Pi, hook it up to your radio. Uh, we've got some cool uh, instructions on how to do that. If you go to digipi.org, you can get the SD card image here. And we've got, even if you've got a, a radio, an old fashioned radio like a Baofeng, you can still put together a push to talk circuit. We've got one of those right here if you, got some, you want to do some simple wiring and make it and hook it up to your radio. Guys, thank you so much. Jerry, Calvin, Bruce, Kenny, Jurgen, thank you, Sal. Um, this is getting, this is really out of control. I can't believe you guys are really supporting this. Um, there's so many DigiPies out there. We talk on Discord all the time. Um, we're doing development out there. Uh, more, I've been working on Direwolf a lot lately, uh, making it work a little bit better with some of the sound cards we use with DigiPie. So, hey guys, thanks so much. Hey, my name is Craig, call sign KM6LYW, and I am clear.